Computer Adaptive Testing The NCLEX uses the Computer Adaptive Testing or CAT to provide candidates truly objective, efficient, and comprehensive testing experience compared to the dated pencil and paper test we all experienced in the past. Computerized Adaptive Testing or CAT uses today's technology to tailor test questions to your ability level and achieve faster, more accurate, and fairer test results at the forefront of using CAT technology for high-stakes examinations. Computer adaptive tests are also designed to adjust their level of difficulty based on the responses provided to match the knowledge and ability of the test taker. NCSBN has been using CAT for NCLEX since 1994. So it's been like, what, 25 years already since they've been using it? Computer adaptive test uses the memory and speed of the computer to administer a test individualized for each candidate. When the examination begins, the computer randomly selects a relatively easy question. The next question is based on the candidate's response to the previous question. If the question is answered correctly, an item of similar or greater difficulty is generated. On the other hand, if it is answered incorrectly, a less difficult item is selected. The goal of CAT is to identify each candidate's competence by determining the difficulty level of questions a candidate can consistently answer correctly. For students, computer adaptive testing offers a shorter testing sessions with a smaller number of questions since only those questions considered appropriate for the students are offered. The most current form of computer adaptive testings are typically administered online. And because the scoring is computerized, teachers and students can get test results more quickly than with paper and pencil tests. If the student gives a wrong answer, the computer follows up with an easier question. If the student answers correctly, the next questions will be more difficult. Each NCLEX RN test is generated from a large pool of questions based on the NCLEX RN test plan. The test item banks includes all types of questions, but an individual candidate may or may not receive each type of questions depending on the questions generated from the item bank for each candidate. The, exam, the exams for all candidates are derived from the same large pool of test items. They contain comparable questions for each component of the test. Although the questions are not exactly the same, they test the same knowledge, skills, and abilities from the test plan. All candidates receive comparable percentage of questions from each client need category that aligns with the test plan and must maintain the passing standards from the balance test. Each candidate therefore has the same opportunity to demonstrate competence, although one candidate may answer fewer questions. All candidates have opportunity to answer the sufficient number of questions to demonstrate the competence until the stability of passing or failing is established or the time limit expires. Each exam includes both 60 operational questions or the actual questions used to determine the competency and 15 pre-test questions or those questions that are being tested for use on subsequent exams. The pre-test questions are administered during the early part of the exam, but you will not be able to differentiate pre-test from operational items on the exam. All candidates must answer at least 60 operational test questions. Thus, the minimum number of questions you might receive is 75, which is 60 operational test questions and 15 pre-test questions and the maximum number of possible questions a candidate may receive is 265, 
or 250 operational questions and 15 pretest questions. Most candidates receive about 110 to 130 test questions. Six hours are available to each candidate for completing the test. This time includes the opportunity to, re to review the online candidate tutorial about the test and the test rest break. Although some candidates may finish a shorter time, others will use the entire six hours. The amount of time used during the testing is not an indication of passing or failing the examination, but rather reflects the time required to establish competence for each candidate.